here, this whole place. This, this came from the back room. <laughs> that was here, this was there. This is a legit setup, I'm not gonna lie. Really good job. Center your own picture. You got the three point lighting? You know what I'm using for this lighting now? So we are on Instagram Live, Tyler Harris page. We are on Facebook Live, Tyler Harris page. We are on Motivation Kings, Facebook, I believe here. We're going here, TJ Reeves, Facebook yep. here. And uh, you wanna shut the door real quick? Yeah, let's <laughs> shut the door. We're in the hotel room, just realized the door is still open. Neighbors are probably gonna love us. How is everybody doing tonight? It is Tuesday evening. We just walked in from the gym, literally. Um, we got, what's that, Raul Villa, new to your page, loving it guys, appreciate that. Hey, so we are about to do some live Q&A, and uh, randomly uh, this afternoon we were driving back from a meeting and I was just like, man, we need to do some more Q&A, uh, but with both of us, and I think it'll be interesting because you guys um, hopefully have consumed some of this content with the Daily Bread vlog, and you know, you've really got two characters in this story, it's not just me. Um, but a lot of times TJ is on the other side of the camera and uh, capturing all of this craziness that's going on. <coughs> you see, you know, TJ behind the camera, but I wanted to bring him out here in front of the camera and uh, just do some Q&A. Like whatever you guys want to talk about is completely open. I don't know what TJ is doing with his eyebrows. <laughs> um, whether it's you want to talk about the vlog, whether you want to talk about the Breadwinner podcast, Sales Wolves podcast, uh, we just put the Daily Bread vlog on iTunes, which is called Daily Bread Flavor in Your Ear. Uh, we got you know, Motivation Kings, we got all these different things, No Hook Media, uh, our media company that we've created, a lot of different things going on. TJ has got all of his stuff going on. He just uh, submitted his application for The Rock's new show, like... If you want to talk about workouts, if you want to talk about social media, uh, personal branding, whatever it is. So we will take some questions when you guys got some. Okay, so we got a question here. I'm a teacher here in Oklahoma. You know about the thousands of teachers that went on strike. I didn't because I willingly signed up to teach and I knew the pay. How do you feel about the strike? That is a, man, that's a good topic. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Thanks for okay. that question, man. That's a great question. I want to hear what you think about the strike yeah i do not know of any strike whatsoever i don't know of any strike either <laughs> and i think that's probably an important first first um important thing to note is you know we talk about auditing auditing your thoughts and auditing the things that you allow in and part of that with us like we don't watch the news like, I, don't, <laughs> At like, all. I could not tell you the last time <laughs> I watched the news. Like I was on the, actually, I, I take that back. I was on the treadmill tonight at the gym. From the corner of my eye, I saw Barbara Bush died on the news, and I was like, "Man, that sucks." Um, and then it was like right back to the right back to the treadmill. Yeah. Um, Whitney Wiseman, what's up, man? We got a question here. Uh, how would you suggest starting off building a personal brand in order to help your business to grow and gain exposure? So, man, there's so much stuff that we could unpack here when building a personal brand in order to help your business to grow and gain exposure. But I think. To start off, I, the, what I would say is just you got to start. Um, everyone asks this question, and everyone contemplates this question for far longer than they should. When they should just go out there and just start creating content, start posting quotes, start uh, going on Facebook Live, start just documenting kind of as you go throughout your day, and it will evolve. Like each person, that's why they call it a personal brand. Each person their story is gonna be very, very different. So the way I would tell you to do it, it's gonna be very different than I tell TJ, very different than I'm gonna tell the next person. And you just gotta figure that out. Um, what that cadence looks like throughout your day, uh, as far as are you posting in between meetings, are you posting in between job sites, or are you able to go live uh, while actually doing your profession? Uh, that's something I can't do, so I have to do in between. Uh, are you able to become an expert in any particular field in regards to your um, uh, your career. I mean, there's there's so many different ways that you can go. The thing is, just go out and start trying some yeah. stuff. No one ever remembers a bad post. Yeah, they really don't care. You'll think that they do. In, in the beginning, you're like, oh crap, I can't post this. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm nervous. Like, what if they don't like it? No one remembers it's it. It's really an ego thing. It's that yeah. pain that you get yeah. from not receiving validation. That's really all it is, but no yeah. one... A bad we post, post bad no stuff knows. all the time. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Um, 
Um, there's a good question here on Motivation Kings, Brian Wright. Um, I'm looking for ways to increase my engagement on my page, Brian Wright, The Value Project. Uh, number one, I want to say, Brian Wright, I watch your videos a lot. Um, and the funny thing about your videos is you always do them in front of your vision board. And your vision board has the exact, exact same Jeep. Uh, in like the upper right hand area, you got a black Jeep on there. I literally have the exact same one on my vision board from like two years ago. And it's the sickest Jeep ever. So I just wanted to say that. It's random. It's just like the way my brain works. That's cool. <laughs> but the videos are great because he does like these days of value. And it's like, I can't remember how many he's done now, which that, is awesome. That so, brings, wait, I, can, before, before Tyler even says something, okay, what Tyler just did, that's how you can create engagement right there. The fact that... He just remember he's watched your videos and he's noticed such a small detail as what goes on in your vision board and he's able to comment on that. That's something so personal to your life, right? That touches you, Brian. Like maybe no there's I don't even right now there is something like forty there's something like thirty other people watching this episode. But thirty thousand? Thirty thousand. But there's you know, there's thirty other people watching this, but he's commenting on something for you. That's gonna keep you engaged because you know that Tyler's watching your stuff and that's super personal. The more you can do that with people, the more you're going to, by definition, connect with them. Yeah, but, and the interesting thing about that is, like, doing it just because it was the right thing to do, not doing it because that you just learned that. Like, that's the whole thing. Like, like that wasn't a thought. Like, that thought didn't enter my head when I said that. It wasn't like a, hey, there's a box I need to check, which means, like, figure out who this dude is and say something about it and, like, check that box, cool, engagement point, Tyler. It's just, like doing the right thing and intent. And so engagement though, especially, I know you're talking about Facebook, man, Facebook being completely open and honest with you guys, it has been just like a, a conundrum for me <laughs> lately. Like it's the, the algorithm, like it's a, it's a daily, it's a daily uh, discussion. <laughs> I will say that. Um, and, and quite frankly, frustration. Things just are, are weird on Facebook right now. Uh, for example, posted a video this morning, this afternoon, and all of a sudden I look at it like an hour later, and it's got like 3,100 views, but it says the reach is 2,500 people. And I'm like, how? Okay, if 3,100 people viewed it, how could it possibly have only reached 2,500? Who were these 600 that viewed it that weren't reached? Like, it, like some of the stuff is just not making sense. And in my page in particular, the, the second that I hit 100,000 likes on my Facebook page, it just like, boom, stop, brick wall. Like, I went from zero to 100,000 in like um, 11 months, 10 months, something like mm -hmm. that. And then I've gone up like 5,500 since then. So like in the last five months, I've only gone up like 5,500 likes and I went from zero to 100,000 with not one single paid like on my Facebook page. I don't even know if you can do that. I mean, you can do it on Instagram, but yeah. I've not paid for one single like or follower on, on Facebook. Zero to 100,000, 10 months, and then 10 month mark to now, which is like 13, 14 months in, uh, or 15 months in, 5,000. 5, so I, I don't know, like it's, it's difficult, but the things that you gotta do is you gotta create conversation. Facebook wants the interaction and the engagement within it to be like a conversation that you would have with another human being. That's why they reward Facebook Live uh, so well. So Facebook Live, obviously you're doing that because I've seen your videos. They do the best, they're rewarded the best in the algorithm, and it makes sense, right? Like you have to treat Facebook and Instagram, you have to treat these platforms like they're human beings. And I've talked about this in the vlog uh, episode before, it was one of the tips from the whip <laughs> that we do. <laughs> Um, but you have to think about it as a, as a human being. Like, what would a human being want you to do? So here's an example. You've got a video you want to post. A lot of people might share a link to their YouTube video. That way they can get people to go to their YouTube page and subscribe to their YouTube page. Well, guess what? Facebook doesn't want you leaving Facebook. They want you staying on Facebook because that's how they generate revenue from the ad spend and the clicks and what you're looking at, what you're watching, all of that. That's how it becomes one of the biggest businesses in the world. It will always be. Um, they don't want you leaving. So when you're trying to get people to click to go to YouTube, they are going to treat that differently versus if it was posted natively on Facebook because that, again, is keeping people there. Uh, when you're asking questions for people to comment, this is the thing um, that, I'm not, that I'm not good at. Like, 
asking engaging questions in the captions of your photos or your videos to yeah, get people to comment. Like, <laughs> I don't do that. We just that don't either. do it. Like, <laughs> we post the vlog every single day, and like I don't know if five times we've ever asked people to comment something specific, but like those types of things are important. Even if it's something as silly as like, comment the number one if you like the Yankees, comment number two if you like the Red Sox, and having people do one, two, one, two. When that stuff starts happening, it pushes it through the algorithm uh, algorithm further and quicker and it enables more people to see it and you get more reach um, but as far as like tactical stuff like it's a moving target and all I know is to stay consistent just to keep posting stuff every single day uh, guys I want to give you something really tactical really quick because I think there's probably some people that are yeah. on here that don't know this so if you have a Facebook page like a business page not like your personal hey, profile, Emily. a Facebook page Anytime someone likes one of your posts, and appreciate your comment, Brian, and follow yeah. up on that question. Um, anytime that, you, that someone likes one of your posts on Facebook, you have the ability to then go to that post, click the people that liked it, and invite them to like your page. There is a very, very random, if someone can tell me this number or how this algorithm works as far as how many you're allowed to invite per day or how many outstanding, I think that's what it might be, just the number of outstanding invites that you have. Uh, because some days it would let me invite like 75, some days it would let me invite 10, some days it would go three days without letting me invite anyone. Um, but you have to always, 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 every single day be maxing that out on how many people that you are inviting to like your page. Here's the thing, once you hit 100,000 likes on your Facebook page, you lose the ability to do that. And obviously that answers the question I had earlier as to why it all of a sudden just got just brick wall just slammed stopped when I hit 100,000 as far as my growth is because I lost the ability to do that you know we're boosting Invited. posts we're running ads and people are liking them like crazy so I've got posts and videos with thousands and thousands and thousands of likes that you I can, can always go to every single day and invite the max get that get that rolling um, and then wait to the next day and then try to invite the max and, and do that there's programs there's also software out there that'll um, automatically um, do your max invites every day for you. I don't know the names of many of them. Hey, big sis, how you doing? Uh, but that's an important point. Um, let's go ahead and ask a okay, question so on yeah. Instagram here. Um, uh, Cena asked, how often do I use Snapchat? I do not use, the only person I use, uh, that I communicate with on Snapchat is my wife, only person. Mm -hmm. All right, so someone asked about morning routines, and I want to hear TJ answer this because I want to hear what his morning routine is because <laughs> I'm just intrigued to know. Yeah, because um, I don't know because just so you guys know, we have separate hotel rooms <laughs> every time we travel. So I always like to throw that out there. If you want a really great routine that worked for me throughout college, um, the only reason I, I kind of stopped doing it was just because of the other meditation stuff and taking on this job, but... It's incredible, and there's scientific research to back it. It's called the three things exercise. So um, forget about everything else. Just start your morning off with this. You wake up and just write down three things you're grateful for in the morning. That's it. That's it. You just write down. Th it could be. It could be. I'm grateful for the fact that there's a roof over my head. I'm grateful for the fact that I have food, and I'm grateful for the fact that I have a job. Just writing those three things every single day for seven days. Um, one one research study showed. It increased the participants' happiness over the next six months by a factor of ten percent. So, wow. it's uh, so that's something really cheap that's and easy science. you can do, um, and it's been verified. It's not just some woo-woo crap. So you can try it if you want to use my daily morning routine from college. Then you will probably die cirrhosis <laughs> of the liver and put yourself in a really bad position over the next ninety days. There's a question you probably really like. It's called, what do you do if you're restarting at the bottom and had a lot of obstacles to overcome, like a felony record or homelessness? Man, I love that question. Um, I think, I think I'm think i going to have to point to my shirt again. You just got to do it anyway. Like, man, I, one of the coolest... You guys obviously know I'm a big Gary Vee uh, fan, but one of the best things that he's come out with lately... You're confused about that. Yeah. Uh, one of the best... That plug doesn't work. Oh, okay, reason, okay. But you can use this one. All right. Um, one of the best things he's come out with le uh, lately is that that and, like, insert any excuse, in, insert any um, situation, any circumstance, any background, any experience that you've been through, struggle, and, and the response is and. Um, now, I say that being incredibly empathetic to anyone that's gone through any difficulty, but 
what I have found is those that can, those that can pivot, those that can uh, make that change, make that transformation, it's almost directly proportional to how bad it was, how far down it went, how rock bottom it got, to how high they go. Like it's almost directly <laughs> proportionate. It's almost like the guy that walks in and his story is like, I was living on the streets, I was doing crack every day, and and then my life changed. I'm like, oh man, like I can't <laughs> wait to watch this one. This one's gonna be incredible because if they made that change and it was that bad, this person is gonna be unbelievable. Um, it's, it's always that way, right? Like those are the best stories. And so in a weird way, I almost envy, and I know that sounds strange. I know that sounds maybe even insensitive, but I almost envy someone in that position with that crazy, horrible, painful, struggle-filled story right now. Because if you make this change, and it's such a fragile time when you have the ability to make that transformation, but if you do, you have the ability to have the most incredible, incredible story. They talk about the bigger the test, the greater the testimony. Like that's like yeah. that's that's it. Like your story has the potential to change millions and millions and millions of worthless, <laughs> lazy people's lives that will hear your story and they'll say, if he can do it, if she can do it, then certainly I can freaking get up thirty minutes earlier today and go to the gym. Yeah. Um, so man, like I. Like nothing excites me more than hearing someone ask that question because I know if you're asking it, then you're probably your head's in the right place. Yeah. Um, but man, you just got to go out and start doing something and doing it every single day and start and uh, and start progressing forward. Like that's it. You yeah. just got to do it anyway. Um, one thing that I just like to add in is something. This is something I got from my mom when I was growing up. And sometimes, like if I had an issue, my mom would be like, uh, you know, she she'd be like, D uh, DJ. You have to understand your life is like a movie, okay? You have to be like the hero of your own movie, okay? You have to you have to think of everything as just making the movie better. Okay, and I, and I kind of love that. It's like think about it. Like any good movie, it's like the hero it's the hero is the person who's gone over as Tyler said, the worst thing possible. Like yeah. if you watch Hercules, like we know of Hercules because he had the seven trials and yet and it was really bad, but he was able to bounce back from that. So it's not like, you know, if you had all these things, like, can you triumph um, despite it? It's like, well, if you had all these things, you could start thinking of it that you're going to succeed because of it. Like, what if you switched it into that? Like, man, I've had this experience of what, what really, like, what as close to hell on earth could be like. Now that I've experienced that, let me, let me bring the light to other people because I know what it's like to suffer. Let me help out everybody who's suffering because I know that. Unlike a lot of other people stuck in the middle with very boring lives, right? So you can bring that to other people. So that's all I, all I submit. Stop thinking you're going to succeed despite those tra challenges. Start thinking you're going to succeed because of those challenges. It's the happen for you, not to you. Yeah. Um, man, you just got really loud again. Oh, sorry. Really loud. <laughs> like, so loud. <laughs> man, I wish I had that the passion. Uh, but man, he just said something real quick. He said, um, thanks so much. I live in a halfway house and been doing great since my release from prison. Man, it's... It's awesome. Yeah, like, it's great I, to like, hear, I, man. Like, like, I could care less. AJP, I could care less about someone being in prison or like any background. Like we all make mistakes, and 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 the person that wants to condemn one person for their sin versus another for a mistake, like like whatever your past is, man. Like I, I absolutely, absolutely um, can't wait to watch what you do, man. So how can followers in, interact amongst each other? That's a great question. Number one, like in the comments and, and all that. Number two, like, I think we really got to go a lot harder on this Facebook group. Like, I tried it out in the beginning and then just kind of, like, fizzled out. Like, I, it, I shared the vlog to it. It's, it was called Breadwinners. And it, it's I think, it, no just, I think it needs to be a focus. I think we're going to have to do that. It's That's going to be the biggest place to do that, like, the collaboration and, and just networking. Like, there's so many people that I've seen, like... There was a comment the other day where someone said something to someone. And they're like, oh, I'm in St. Louis, too. And they're like, oh, let's get together. And they, like, took a picture when they, like, met or something and sent it yeah. to us. And, like, there yeah, was another one the other day. Awesome. And you were like, you were like, a connection's been made. Like, there's a lot of people that have been, like, connecting with one yep. another, which is really cool. Um, here, here's, here's my take on that same question, Jess. To create engagement between people in the community, start talking about what you're doing to incorporate the themes and the ideas of the Daily Bread vlog 
of everything that we post from No Hook Media. I mean, every single episode that gets posted, I make sure to have a theme with, and I usually discuss it with Tyler, but what the thing is, so like, maybe a discussion about how you're employing that as your homework. So that's the yeah, biggest thing. that's great. I mean, and I'll selfishly say, I, I, I would like that engagement in the post as well. <laughs> um, but like, that's it. Like, like whatever we're talking about, like in the post, like, like, man, like I read all, I read every single comment, every single comment. I am currently behind on my inbox on Facebook not on Instagram. I'm pretty much caught up on Instagram, just so you guys know. So follow me there. I'm a little bit more attentive there lately. But like, I'm a little behind, which I'm going to catch up on the Facebook messages. But I read every, every single comment, every single one. There has never been a comment that came through that I did not read. That's pretty bold, but I'm pretty sure it's probably true. Like, I read every single one. So like, if there's ever anything that you want somebody's eyes on to take a look at, and like, if I have like input like I will provide as much as possible value as I can uh, somebody has a question but like there's other people out there too that can answer it like way better than me and so bring those things up like talk about them like these are important like that that's this the, I like that you were use the word community and I love how Andy Purcell uses the word movement like or a project um, like this isn't like binary like this isn't like we're on this side you're on that side like it, like that's just how it is like we talk you listen like it's a this is a conversation a movement like this is something that we want to create um, and that's the only way this thing's going to get pushed uh, forward because when you do that again it shows up in your news feed and other people can see it so. and it says he just left you a dm well we'll read it in a second <laughs> i'm not reading yours for sure <laughs> anyone else though i appreciate each and every one of you jumping on here. If you are still on here, that obviously means the world to us. If you've been on here for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or the entire time. Uh, but one last thing, one right hook, if you will, on this live Instagram and Facebook. Tag somebody, share it, make a comment before we uh, before we jump off here or when we get or we get off on the replay. Uh, but share it with somebody. Tag somebody in it because I guarantee you amongst all of this, somebody can get something from it or somebody could be introduced to us mm -hmm. that can then see a vlog that comes up next uh, next week or then can see a, a breadcrumbs video that comes out uh, on Friday or can then catch a Sales Wolves podcast on a Sales Wolves Wednesday, which is tomorrow, or catch a breadwinner podcast and get introduced to somebody else. Like, I don't... Like I don't care. Like I'm, I'm completely cool being a pass through, like impact. Like you found that's someone else I'm through me, and that changed your life. Like that's equally as important as someone having their life changed by me. I'm not the variable of your life being changed, <laughs> like at all. It's just a delivery mechanism. So, uh, appreciate each and every one of you for jumping on here, for asking questions, for commenting, for engaging, and um, we'll do this more often. Yeah, for sure. What, what time? What time we have work tomorrow? Uh, six thirty. We got we got work at six thirty tomorrow. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's not too bad. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's That's not too bad, bad this time. Um, but with that, guys, we are going to jump off here. We are live on Instagram, my Facebook, TJ's Facebook, Motivation Kings Facebook. Which, by the way, if you're not following Motivation Kings, you might as well. It's got over nine hundred thousand yeah. likes. It's getting like forty nine million in weekly reach. It's insanity. Mm -hmm. Um, that was just a random comment. Yeah. All right, guys, we're <laughs> jumping off here. Appreciate right. each and every one of you. See ya.